Take a moment. Look around you. Really observe the world we've built. The sprawling cities, the meticulously cultivated fields, the intricate web of human civilization, a testament to our ingenuity and relentless progress. It all feels so permanent, so enduring, like it will stand the test of time. But history, deep down, is a story of unimaginable change, a constant flux, written not in stone, not in any lasting material, but in the ephemeral starlight and cosmic dust. 66 million years ago, give or take a few millennia, a single terrible day, an extinction-level event, rewrote that story in the most dramatic way possible. A day that abruptly ended one world, a world dominated by giants, and by sheer chance allowed another to begin, paving the way for the age of mammals and eventually us. What if that cataclysmic day had never happened? What if fate had taken a different turn? What if the ancient rulers of this planet, the dinosaurs, had never fallen from their throne? Imagine a world, a vibrant and dangerous world, where the earth-shattering roar of a Tyrannosaurus still echoes through the primeval forests, and colossal herds of Titanosaurs shake the very ground beneath your feet as they migrate across vast landscapes. For an astounding 180 million years, this was reality, a long and unbroken dynasty, the age of reptiles, the Mesozoic era, a period of unparalleled reptilian dominance. Dinosaurs weren't just animals living on Earth. They were more than just inhabitants. They, the Earth, fundamentally shaping every ecosystem, dictating the flow of every food chain, and influencing the very climate. Great marine reptiles, apex predators of the deep, ruled the oceans with an iron grip. Pterosaurs, masters of the prehistoric skies, soared effortlessly above, and dinosaurs, in all their incredible diversity, conquered every ecological niche on land, from the smallest insectivore to the largest herbivore. Their reign seemed eternal, a testament to their evolutionary success, a biological empire that seemed destined to last forever, an unbroken chain of life stretching into the distant future. But forever is a long, long time, an almost incomprehensible span, and the universe as we know is full of unexpected surprises, cosmic curveballs, and unforeseen events. Our own existence, our very presence on this planet, is inextricably tied to their sudden and dramatic disappearance. To truly understand who we are, to grasp the full scope of our history, we must first understand the world that was tragically lost. We must travel back in time, back to the twilight of the Mesozoic era, to the final fleeting moments of their magnificent reign. And ask ourselves a profound question. What if the asteroid, that harbinger of doom, had simply missed its target? What would our world, the world we inhabit today, look like if the dinosaurs had never gone extinct, if they had continued to evolve and thrive? The answer, as you might imagine, is a journey into an alternate reality, a step into the unknown a world that is both strangely alien and hauntingly familiar, a place where the familiar rules of nature have been subtly yet profoundly altered. So let's step boldly into that world. Let's embark on this incredible thought experiment and see what might have been, what could still be. The story, The Divergence, begins with a single near-miss catastrophe, a cosmic close call that changed everything. To truly grasp the possibilities of an alternate timeline, to imagine what might have been, we must first bear witness to the cataclysmic event that shaped our own world, the world that ended. 66 million years ago, before the dawn of mammals as the dominant species, Earth was a paradise, a vibrant and thriving ecosystem where dinosaurs reigned supreme. It was a warm greenhouse world, a place of incredible biodiversity, teeming with life in every corner, from the smallest insects to the largest sauropods. Unbeknownst to the creatures below, from the cold, silent expanse of space, a 10-kilometer-wide asteroid, a cosmic bullet, was hurtling on a direct collision course with Earth. Its impact unleashed an unimaginable amount of energy, more than a billion times greater than the combined power of all the atomic bombs detonated in World War II. The initial blast instantly vaporized everything within hundreds of kilometers of ground zero, turning rock and flesh into superheated gas. The force of the impact carved a colossal crater, scarring the Earth with a wound over 180 kilometers wide. The very ground beneath their feet buckled and heaved as earthquakes of unimaginable magnitude shook the planet to its core. 
Monstrous tsunamis, walls of water hundreds of meters high, scoured coastlines, obliterating everything in their path. And as if that weren't enough, a colossal plume of superheated rock, ash, and dust was violently shot into the upper atmosphere, reaching far beyond the stratosphere. The sky itself glowed an ominous red, a harbinger of the devastation yet to come. The intense heat ignited wildfires that raged uncontrollably, spreading across continents like a deadly plague. For any creature caught in the open, exposed to the inferno, there was simply no escape, no refuge from the all-consuming fire. But even this initial wave of destruction was only the beginning of a long and agonizing end. Dust, soot, and debris, billions of tons of it, shrouded the planet in a thick, impenetrable blanket. This global veil blocked out the life-giving sunlight, plunging Earth into a prolonged and devastating impact winter. With the sun obscured, photosynthesis, the engine of life, ground to a halt. Plants, the foundation of the food chain, withered and died unable to sustain themselves in the perpetual darkness. Herbivores, deprived of their food source, starved in droves, their populations decimated by the lack of sustenance. Carnivores, in turn, followed their prey into oblivion, their survival inextricably linked to the fate of the herbivores. The intricate and delicate food webs that had sustained life for millions of years collapsed in what, geologically speaking, was a mere blink of an eye. The mighty dinosaurs, once the undisputed rulers of the Earth, creatures too large and too specialized for this new reality. They simply could not adapt to the harsh conditions of this new, barren and unforgiving world. Their long and glorious reign, which had seemed as though it would last for eternity, came to an abrupt and devastating end, almost overnight. The world was reset, wiped clean by cosmic forces, and a new chapter in the history of life on Earth began to unfold. But what if that asteroid had missed? What if that cataclysmic chapter had never started? What would the world look like today? Imagine the asteroid missed its mark, a cosmic near miss of epic proportions. Earth remains a greenhouse world, perpetually warm and incredibly lush, a vibrant testament to uninterrupted tropical conditions. The great ice caps never form, meaning the planet retains a consistently higher average temperature across the globe. Sea levels are significantly higher, coastlines are dramatically reshaped, and vast areas of land are submerged beneath the waves. Grasslands never emerge. The open savannas and prairies we know today simply wouldn't exist. Instead, endless forests of ferns, cycads, and towering conifers dominate the landscape, a scene reminiscent of the deep past. Dinosaurs have another 66 million years to evolve, to diversify, and to further refine their dominance on Earth. An era as long as the entire age of mammals, an almost unimaginable expanse of time for reptilian evolution to continue unchecked. Tyrannosaurs might become even more formidable, evolving into even larger and more terrifying apex predators, or diversify into entirely new forms, filling ecological niches we can scarcely imagine. Sauropods could grow larger still, reaching for the canopy of ever taller forests, their necks stretching towards the sunlit heights. Dinosaurs adapt to every environment, feathered, aquatic, even cold climate specialists, thriving in every corner of the globe. The skies fill with bird-like dinosaurs, a kaleidoscope of wings and feathers dominating the aerial realm. The waters teem with reptilian hunters, sleek and powerful predators ruling the depths. This alternate Earth is vibrant, dynamic, and undeniably dangerous a world teeming with prehistoric life. A world where the age of reptiles never ended, a testament to the power of chance and the resilience of life. It would be their world, not ours, a planet shaped by reptilian dominance for eons to come. The mammals remain in the shadows, small and furtive, eking out a living in the margins of a dinosaur-ruled world. The future, for better or worse, belongs to the dinosaurs. In the shadow of the dinosaurs, our ancestors, small nocturnal mammals, scurried and hid. For 180 million years, mammals lived on the periphery, their potential suppressed by dinosaur dominance. The extinction event was their opportunity as dinosaurs vanished. Mammals inherited the Earth. They diversified rapidly growing in size and adapting to new lifestyles. Some became primates, others whales, horses, or predators. Our world was shaped by this explosion of mammalian life. 
Without the extinction, mammals would have remained small, nocturnal, and unremarkable. The evolutionary pathways to large bodies, complex societies, and diverse diets would have stayed blocked. No lions, no whales, no primates, no us. The story of life would have taken a profoundly different course. The world would belong to the reptiles. Mammals would remain a footnote. Our story would never have begun. If dinosaurs had survived, would humanity have ever evolved? Almost certainly not. Our journey began with primates adapting to life in the trees, requiring grasping hands, forward-facing eyes, and bigger brains. In a dinosaur-dominated world, the trees would be filled with climbing reptiles and predatory pterosaurs, making a primate lifestyle nearly impossible. The evolution of hominins was driven by climate change and the spread of savannas, conditions that would never arise in an endless Mesozoic. No savannas, no bipedalism, no tool use, no humans. Our story is a product of a world without dinosaurs. We are, in the deepest sense, children of the asteroid. But let's imagine, against all odds, a species of intelligent beings did evolve on a dinosaur-filled Earth. Perhaps they're not mammals, but a lineage of intelligent dinosaurs, the so-called dinosauroids. Or maybe a resilient line of primates carves out a niche. Life would be defined by constant peril. Stepping outside would be a gamble with death. Predators like raptors or tyrannosaurs would make survival a daily struggle. Shelters would need to be impregnable, high in trees, deep in caves, or on mountain plateaus. Technology would focus on defense and concealment, not conquest. Civilization would be a perpetual siege, nature an ever-present, monstrous opponent. It would be a world of giants, and survival would be the greatest achievement. If humans couldn't evolve, could intelligence arise in another form? Evolution has no goal, but given time and pressure, intelligence can emerge. On a dinosaur-dominated Earth, the best candidates would be the dinosaurs themselves. Raptors like Trudontids already had large brains, keen senses, and grasping hands. Given millions more years, could they develop complex societies, communication, and tool use? The result, an intelligent reptilian being, alien in mind and body. Their society, technology, and perception would be profoundly different from ours. Intelligence, in this world, would be a reminder that humanity is just one possible outcome among countless others. The timeline of life isn't a straight line to us. It's a vast, branching tree of possibilities. Our existence is an accident the survival of shrew-like ancestors, the asteroid the climate shifts. At any point, a different turn could have erased us from history. This realization should fill us with awe and gratitude. We are the inheritors of an almost impossible legacy. Our intelligence, our ability to wonder, is a gift of chance. Thinking about a world where dinosaurs never went extinct is more than a thought experiment. It's a lesson in humility. We are not the masters of this planet, but its current custodians. The world existed long before us and will continue long after. Understanding what might have been helps us cherish the world we have. The past is a lost world, but by imagining what might have been, we appreciate what is. The dinosaurs are gone, but their legacy lives on, in birds, and in the very fact of our existence. Their absence made space for us to evolve, to dream, to build. We owe our world to the death of theirs. As we look to the future, remember life is resilient but fragile. We are responsible for protecting this planet and its wonders. Never stop asking what if. It's the beginning of every great discovery. Until next time, keep looking up and never stop wondering.